Hello and welcome. Welcome to the SQL Server Architecture video series. Here I am discussing to database engine services. In the previous video, we discussed about the network protocol. Once client connection is enabled and success any of the protocol, then you can connect the database engine using the credentials. Then what is SQL Server database engine? The database engine components of SQL Server is the core service for storing, processing and securing the data. Moreover, the database engine provides controlled access and a rapid transaction processing to meet the requirements of the most demanding data consuming applications in your enterprises. So, the database engine components is managing for storing the data, processing the data, and retrieving the data, also securing the data. This is the main point you need to know. While answering this question, you can focus in this area, the database engine components of the SQL Server, the core service for storing, processing, and securing the data. For this purpose, the database engine contains two major components. What are the two major components of SQL Server database engine? That is storage engine and relational engine. The storage engine responsible for how data is physically stored and retrieve the data when it is needed. The storage engine describes about the physical storage of the data and the relational engine. The relational engine is also called a query processor responsible for handling the SQL commands and performing the execution based on the user's request. The relational engine describes how to query, how to work the execution plan describing the relational engine. So these are the two components of the SQL Server database engine. First the storage engine and relational engine. So the storage engine and relation is the core part of the SQL Server architecture. The storage engine consists of physical database architecture and this can be divided into two parts. That is the how data is stored physically in the OS file system and how data logically arranging in the physical storage that is pages and extents. Then we can check how to connect database engine. Normally, we are connecting the database engine through the SQL Server Management Studio. We have other method also to connect the database engine. Then here I am just connecting through the SQL Server Management Studio. Everyone know how to open the, uh, how to connect the SQL database engine. Other than this, we can use the Azure Data Studio also connecting to the SQL Server. You all know how to connect the SQL Server. While connecting the SQL Server, you will get like this window, server name, the authentication path, login, and password. That's mean first server name. Once this is a named instance or default instance. Then next authentication type. There are different authentication type, SQL Server authentication and uh, Windows authentication. Now I have selected the SQL Server authentication by default. Then, then login name. I am logging to the, from the SA and giving the password. While connecting, your SQL Server is running in background. It will connect. The SQL Server is connected to database engine. You can access any database. Currently, I didn't create any databases in this instance. So. Next, we can check how to connect database instance using Azure Data Studio. So that purpose, I need to this server instance name. First, I am going to copy that name. I copied. Then open the Azure Data Studio. Azure Data Studio.
This is the Azure Data Studio home screen. While using the Azure Data Studio, you can connect your SQL Server database engine from any of the operating system, Windows or Mac OS or Linux. That is the advantage of using the Azure Data Studio. Other than this, using the Azure Data Studio, you can connect any of the database like PostgreSQL, uh, MySQL, or SQL Server. That is the advantage of Azure Data Studio. So to connect the database engine, you need to first create a connection. So click on the new, new connection. You will get a window like this. So here, connection type, Microsoft SQL Server. If you have installed some of the extensions, you can we can install to some other extension to connect to other databases like Postgres or uh, MySQL. If you install any extension from the uh, Azure Data Studio, that also will visible here. So now it's selected Microsoft SQL Server. Then input type parameter. That means we are giving the parameter. That means the server name, uh, username and password. So next server name, that is instance name. I am giving the copied uh, instance name. Then authentication type. I'm going to connect using SQL or login. So then it is asking for username and password essay then password if you want to remove the password click here then <clears throat> you need to go to any of the database by default you can select the database from here then <clears throat> another thing there is a server group so by default if database connection is creating in the default group if you need to create this connection in a particular group that means you have some development group and uh, you have production you have a staging then you need to store this connection into a separate group you can create a group from here so add new group just i am uh, giving the demo demo group then to identify easily this is the demo group this is the production group then you can set any of the color for this one so if you are production you can use the red color if you are development you can use the another color so just i am using the green color then click ok so that demo server group is created then next just connect uh, my connect database service is not trusted that is why it is going this type of error now it is connected then you can see the all databases in the system. If you want to uh, uh, query uh, that uh, data, you can create the new query. Then select. Just then click on run. The data will display like this. So in this video, we went through the database engine and two main components of database engine, that is storage engine and a relational engine. In the next video, I am going to check how SQL Server is storing data physically and data is arranging logically. And what are the other components of the storage engine? Thank you for watching. Please support and subscribe the channel.